the best mineral sunscreens for acne prone skin. And one chemical one. <laughs> In five, four, three, two. Hey guys, welcome back to the Style and Beauty Doctor here on YouTube. And in today's video, acne expert Marie Claire Cates is back on the channel. This medical esthetician who specializes in acne has graced this channel before with so much information on acne prone skin. So make sure you check out those past videos. But today she is going to give us her rundown on seven sunscreens to check out if you have acne prone skin story is, you know, with 11 years of just dealing with only acne folks, right? The story I heard and including myself, I didn't wear sunscreen because every sunscreen, I w they would just break me out. I was like, I'm not going to wear sunscreen. I didn't start wearing sunscreen. I was out until I was 39. Don't tell nobody. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Cause they would break me out so badly. And all my customers would say, I don't wear sunscreen. They break me out. I don't wear sunscreen. And then when I worked for the dermatologist, Dr. Joffrey told me, I bet you if you wear mineral sunscreen, it will not break you out because of this thing, blah, 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 blah. And I started to look into it. And when I tell you it's night and day, so I only wear mineral sunscreen. And I know we all worrying about the little cast and whatnot, but you know, but we're going to talk just for acne prone folks. Okay. I don't care about the... <laughs> <laughs> this is just for the acne prone people. But it was eye opening because I had not done this in a while. Do you know I researched every sunscreen, mineral sunscreen you can buy at the drugstore? And even the ones that said great for acne prone, all three. Hmm, no G. <coughs> Seven amazing sunscreen. AES and Marie Claire approved. Uh, you know, this was a labor of love. And in no particular order. The first one is by Clinique and it is the broad spectrum SPF 50 mineral sunscreen fluid for face. Okay. Okay. That's a mouthful. That is a mouthful and <laughs> amazing ingredient profile. And I, you know, I got to give it up for cleaning for this, for, to Clinique on this one. It looks amazing. The next one is by Super Goop. Super Goop. <laughs> <laughs> and it is called Matte Screen. Matte Screen by Super Goop. And it's great for oil, um, oily skin. So I know okay. some of the dolls are going to love this because most of us who are acne prone are also a little bit oily. So Super Goop Matte Screen, SPF 40. And the next one I love because it is a powder. So you know how we're supposed to reapply sunscreen every two hours, but after we, <laughs> we put our makeup on, we're like, we ain't got time for that. <laughs> so I got it's you a lot. on that one. I got, yes. it's a lot. Okay. It's a lot. So the next one is by color science, color science, and it is called sun forgettable total protection brush and shield SPF 50 mm -hmm. and drum roll, please. They have a color range. They have from the light to the medium tone. <laughs> Amazing. Like I ordered one from Sephora. I'm like, okay, please help me. Okay. So yes. this is, you can reapply every two hours. It's a powder, comes with a brush and, um, you know, it comes in medium, deep, a neutral. So go for it. Okay. Amazing. And I like, I like, I actually use a mineral sunscreen powder to reapply my sunscreen during the day. It's not oh. that one that I, I haven't used that one yet, but it's just so convenient and easy to just brush it on. You just have to make sure you put on enough. Yes. I have another powder one. Ooh, I wonder if that's okay. Good, okay. But I'm excited. <laughs> I'm excited. <laughs> All right. So I'm going to go through the next powder one I found, which I ordered that one too. Okay. It is by Peter. Thomas Roth, and it is called Instant Mineral Broad Spectrum SPF 45 Sunscreen. That's the one I use. Shut up! That <laughs> is the one I use. I've been Stop using that playing. for years. For really? years. It is oh my favorite my one. God. It the is... only thing about it, I wish the bristles on the brush were just a little bit softer. Mm. But other than that, and the, the packaging, you have to be very careful about how you open it up. Because if you open it up the wrong way, you're going to dump out all the powder. 
Okay. But you pay if you pay attention to how you're opening it and you know, if you're careful with the brush, I love that one. I ordered that one too for myself. So this is great. So now we have no excuse of not reapplying every two hours. Get your little brush out and get it together, okay? Because <laughs> the sun will, will get us. We're trying to right. age well. <laughs> yes, yes. Yes. And then the next one is by La Roche Jose. I'm sorry, my French accent. I gotta- You gotta it. say it. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> my, my Haitian girl is coming through, okay? So um, it is by La Roche Jose and it's Amphilius Ultra Light Mineral Face Sunscreen Fluid SPF 50. Okay. Amazing, amazing ingredient profile. And this is oily skin friendly as well. So if you have oily skin and you're looking for a sunscreen that is light, I looked at the ingredients, just absolutely amazing. Okay. Okay. And then the next one you can find at the drugstore and it is by Neutrogena and it is called Clear Face Breakout Free Liquid Lotion Sunscreen Broad Spectrum SPF, SPF 50. And that one, oddly enough, is a chemical sunscreen. That was the only oh. one I could find. Mm, okay. By Neutrogena Chemical Sunscreen, I could find, and I researched for four hours, okay? No shade. And then the last one, of course. The last one is by Acne Expert Skincare, yours truly, and it is our Protection 30, and it is absolutely amazing. It will definitely not break you out. It is made for acne-prone dolls. It is mineral. It is mineral. Okay. Because, you know... Um, my customers are mostly acne prone dolls. So, you know, we just cater to acne prone skin. So it yeah. is, even if you're not acne prone, you can use it as well. Just know, you know, you can have the confidence that you're using something that will never, never break you out. So yeah. what is it about mineral sunscreen that seems to do so well for acne prone skin from your findings? Yes. So it is the amazing, amazing ingredient ingredient called zinc oxide. Mm -hmm. and, you know, and I understand it because I've been doing this. I've been a medical esthetician for 11 years. And I find that most of my customers would complain that, you know, I can't wear sunscreen, including yours truly in the beginning. I couldn't find a sunscreen, you know, to save my life. Like everything I wore broke me out. And I realized that. And then I worked for a dermatologist and I remember he said, acne prone skin are more sensitive to chemical sunscreen. And he would recommend mineral sunscreen to all of his patients. So, and this is when we look at the profile of zinc oxide, right? It is antimicrobial, antimicrobial, right? So it is great for acne prone skin. It is anti-inflammatory. It has healing properties. It relieves inflammation. So this is why we love using, um, we recommend to all of our customers physical sunscreen because of the zinc oxide. So that's why. And I love zinc, zinc and everything. <laughs> yeah. So zinc has all these amazing properties. And yeah. if you are someone who has even a touch of melanin mm. in your skin, you can I attest. Know. Now I have a series here. I have been trying mineral sunscreen pretty much all 2020 and going mm -hmm. into 2021. One of the biggest gripes about sunscreen yeah. is that white but in my experience with mineral sunscreens, um, a couple of ways that you can kind of mitigate that white cast. Um, some of them, you, you're just not going to get around it. There's going to be a noticeable white cast. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. some of them, some of them, you just, some of them can't be saved. Yeah. But for the ones that, <laughs> for the ones that can, I definitely suggest, like you mentioned earlier, applying it in thin layers until you yes. have the adequate amount of protection. Because yes. I do find if you take a mineral sunscreen and you glop the amount that you need and then you mm -mm. try to massage that on your face, you're going to be so Ooh, upset. Child. This is not going to be good. You are going to be so upset. You know what so I like upset. to do? I warm it up in my hands for a few minutes 
And then I start on my neck and then I work it, I work it, I work it up, I work it up. And then I do a second one, warming up in my hand. And then I work it, I work it. And then mm-hmm. another thing too you could do is, let's just say you're not going to wear makeup and you're going outside and you're wearing your sunscreen. What I like to do is take a little bit of a bronzer um, and then I just do a little bronzer right here, you know, and then on my yeah. cheek. And it just... You know, it gives you, what does it give you? Like, you know, it's that just depth, as that warm. It, there you go. It warms yeah. it up. So I love to do that. And then, you know, for me, it has worked in most of my customers, you know, they find that it, it just works for them. After a while, when you're acne prone and nothing has worked, you're going to find the strength <laughs> <laughs> to make it work because to make it work know, yeah to make it work because you know why you're wearing um you know the physical sunscreen you know that you know it's healing your acne and you're getting the sun protection as well but a little white cast and in some of these and we have the powder too the powder you can do the powder as well so um there is no reason not to find something and just make it work. So in the beginning, it's just being patient and finding a way to make it work. So warming yeah. it, like you said, applying it in thin layers and then mm-hmm. building from there. So and then from try, there. yeah, try those one that I mentioned until you find one. There is one formula in here that you're gonna find that that's going to work for you. I guarantee it. I guarantee yeah. it. Yeah. 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 So another thing that I wanted to really point out to to everyone at home as well, you guys, you have to be realistic sometimes when it comes to these mineral sunscreens. They are not going, they're just not going to look the way chemical sunscreens are going to look on us. They're just not. There's like, there's even, even the best, Mm -mm. like I have videos where I have to say, these are the best mineral sunscreens I've tried. They are still not going to be comparable to a a chemical sunscreen. It's just the way that zinc, it, that's it's just a white it material, right? It is. It's just the Say way it that louder. It is. Say it louder. It's a white material. <laughs> you know, one other tip I want to share too. So I love Bare Minerals Matte for acne prone dolls, right? The powder that might work for you as well. Now, you yeah. guys, now um, there was a study that was out that, that um, said that mineral sunscreens, particularly those that are tinted, they tend to do better for those who have hyperpigmentation um, because mm-hmm. it's got the iron oxides in it. That's so right. The Bare Minerals Matte um, has the iron oxides in it. Not every yes. foundation is going to have iron oxides, but that's you yeah. know that's an example. You can yeah. put the mineral sunscreen on and then put that on top to you know have that extra protection and also to you know make it work like you said so that it's more exactly. like your, your shade. But yes. you guys, be careful what you mix into your sunscreen. There's certain things that work. And there are certain things like don't be putting essential oils and making your <laughs> don't own do sunscreens. That. <laughs> like, please, I'll link you guys to a video yes. where we talked about that and how why that works. But don't yes. be mixing, you know, anything else in your sunscreen, right. please, because you can degrade <laughs> the, it. That's great. And the two powdered sunscreen I mentioned, they do have iron oxides in them yes, too. So good. they're gonna they're gonna work great for you know darker skin tone. So yeah. Yes. So you mentioned that there that you like these because of the ingredients. Now, what ingredients should people sort of look for, and what are some things that people should make sure that's not in the formula for acne-prone skin? You know what? It's easier for me to tell you what to make sure that it does not contain because okay. in the four-hour research I did, I found some common ingredients just because it is a mineral sunscreen does not mean that you know it is completely acne safe because there are ingredients you know that you gotta look out for biotin was big in some of them biotin Mm. unfortunately if you're acne prone you gotta stay away from um because it does aggravate your acne so biotin i found a lot of fernal oil Mm. Um, grapeseed oil, shea butter. Um, there is an ester called PEG8. It was, I would say, in 92% of the sunscreen I looked at. PEG8. So this is when you're looking, you know, reading the back label, it will say PEG8, not acne prone friendly. Um, sodium chloride is big. It's in mostly, uh, in most skincare ingredients. Um, so sodium chloride, look out for that one as well. Glycerol, cereate, citrol alcohol, 
Um, and then any type of seed oil. The only oil that should be in your skincare, if you're acne prone, that is safe is safflower oil or sunflower oil. So, but if it says any type of other oil, seed oil, avocado oil, coconut oil, unfortunately, um, these oil are not acne prone um, friendly. So these ingredients, without having to go through like each one and say like yeah. why it's bad, I'm assuming that they cause um, either a, a spike in some sort of hormone that's in the skin or it causes some mm -hmm. sort of change in the skin that um, incites acne. Is that true? Exactly. So they either feed the acne bacteria, clog the pore, or cause, cause more oil. Like coconut oil, shea butter, oh my God. The pea acne bacteria love these type of oil and they just thrive whenever yeah. you put this type of oil on your skin. So unfortunately, this is why in sodium fluoride um, is an irritant actually for acne prone skin. So you just got to make sure you look at the labels and then you can just keep a little list when you're at the store, you can just compare and, um, you know, and make sure that they don't contain these ingredients. So you mentioned with chemical sunscreens, because I know I, I myself, I love chemical sunscreens because they're yeah. easy for me to put on. I don't have to worry about a bunch of stuff, but I and also don't have acne. <laughs> you're right. But I also don't have acne prone skin. Are there certain chemical sunscreen filters? that can kind of trigger acne prone skin or would you say it's more so the other ingredients that are yes. put in the chemical sunscreen it's just it's a combination of both it's all the ingredients together and how they are made and we find that it irritates the pores and and people with rosacea acne you know any type of sensitivity they find that when they wear um chemical sunscreen that it causes like a little rash. Like I went through that. Like I've, I've tried every chemical sunscreen and my skin would react. So, and you know, and there's this, this, uh, a myth. Chemical, a myth that chemical sunscreen yeah. causes hyperpigmentation. Like my customers will say that that does not happen. Okay. So I know we're not on the subject, but does it cause I'm glad you brought it up. Cause you know, somebody was going to say it. Right. <laughs> Yes, I get that question a lot. Like the heat, the amount of heat it would have to cause to aggravate and, you know, to cause your hyperpigmentation to worsen is non-existent. So let's just put that myth to, to, to sleep right now. But unfortunately, if you're acne prone or you have sensitive skin, you have rosacea, um, eczema, and it's just a combination of the ingredients to make the sunscreen work you know, it causes irritation. And I'm telling you, I hear this every day. If we don't get an email every day or a DM for my customers that I see at the office, they're like, including myself, that they can't wear chemical sunscreen. That's the reason why. It, I'm going to leave where you can follow um, Acne Expert on Instagram, where you can shop yes. her products. She mentioned her SPF. I'll leave a link to that in the description box. So you guys can check that out. Um, and then if people have questions, how can they reach you? If they have, they can find me on Instagram at Acne Expert. We're very active in our DM. So just send me a DM. Like, even if you find a sunscreen and you want me to review it, I mean, I'll do it. <laughs> <laughs> I will do it for the love of the people. Now, if you're someone who's acne prone and you're using a sunscreen and maybe it's not on her list of the best, or maybe it has one of the ingredients that she mentioned that you should watch out for, if that sunscreen is working perfectly fine for you, you are more than likely okay. Um, but if you want to double check and you have some questions, I will leave information on where you can contact Acne Expert in the description box. So make sure you check that out. And then of course, while you're there, scroll down and find out where you can follow me on social. That will also be in the description box. And I will see you fine folks in my next video. Bye guys.